In this video, we're going to briefly show how you can use preempt and Okta together to trigger multi-factor authentications that are based on changing security context. And this is really important because instead of just having relatively static MFA challenges, we can look at behaviors in the environment, look at how risk levels are changing, a look at potential threats that are emerging, and trigger MFA in response to those changing contexts. And here we're going to show an example of a stealthy administrator. And now this is a user who is not in the official admins group inside of Active Directory, but she does have this ability to reset passwords for administrators. And this gives her power like an administrator by proxy. She can essentially uh, reset those passwords and gain admin-like privileges. So this is something that is really interesting because you wouldn't typically be able to trigger a policy based on this, but now since preempt is gonna analyze traffic, identify that she's a stealthy administrator, we can trigger a policy that forces that multi-factor authentication challenge. So we're going to log into Office 365, sign in, and once she puts in her credentials, we'll see that she is challenged by Okta via MFA. And of course, we can easily go in and accept that push challenge and get access to the application. Now, the important part is that we can build a policy just like this based on any number of security contexts. It could be a changing risk score. It could be abnormal behavior. It could be a security incident, such as uh, signs that a, an attacker is trying to uh, use the uh, victim account to pass the hash. Anything like this, we can trigger multi-factor authentication challenges so that we can verify that a user is actually who they say they are, bring additional security measures into play based on that changing risk that we see and actually make sure that we keep all of our assets secure without really getting in the way of valid user behavior.